Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And if you're on Windows 11, today is Patch Tuesday. That is the second Tuesday of the month, and it is security updates. On Windows 11, you're getting, of course, the Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool. You're getting a cumulative update, which is for 21H2 or 22H2. And the KB number is KB5017321. These are the security updates themselves. And there is a cumulative update for .NET Framework 3.5 and 4.8.1. Uh, these could have um, an update due to security also, as there could be some security flaws in .NET Framework also. So they are arriving today, September the 13th, 2022. We'll be looking at overall what's in there. Of course, Windows 10, Windows 11 share pretty much the same code. So um, in the um, security updates, most of the flaws of Windows 10 and Windows 11 are pretty much the same. Could be a little bit of differences, but in general, often the same. And of course, we'll be looking sometimes. Um, there are a few bug fixes that appear with Windows, uh, the Windows update of um, of Batch Tuesday. Remember that if you haven't installed the bug fixing updates for last month, late August, you will actually get them at the same time here, thus making this update a little bigger than uh, average and a little longer to install. And uh, well, of course, we will be looking at what's in there, what's you know dangerous, is there any zero days in there? Um, I'll be uh, looking and analyzing the blog post of all the fixes that are included in this uh, Patch Tuesday update for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And of course, um, remember one thing, because a lot of people, I, when they gave me the time that it takes to install updates, I think a lot of you actually include this page. And you know, when this page is actually doing its updates, you can do something else. You don't have to wait and leave your computer alone. Um, you know, just go and do whatever you want to do. And when they'll be ready to install, then, of course, you'll have a pop-up that says, you know, computer wants to restart. That is the time you should calculate. When a computer restarts, and now you can't use a PC because it's really installing updates. This is when you should actually count how long it takes for your computer to update. Uh, because I think some people that have, you know, will tell me, oh, it took four, five, six hours. Um, look at this page also. You don't have to calculate this time because it's a time when your PC is still usable. Of course, on an older PC, you might see some sluggishness. But still, your computer can still be used. So, uh... We'll be uh, looking at the details as the um, as I'm analyzing the list of what is fixed and what security updates are in here. So head on to your PC to stay safe because this is one of the ways to one of the major ways to stay safe on a computer. Update your software, your operating system. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.